Mana Church, Morning Mana, Nickertel. Welcome. You are right on time. Listen, this week we are looking at Psalm 100, and we're talking about having an attitude of gratitude. You know, this psalm, it gives us six commands, practical ways that we can give thanks to God. And today, we'll pick up where we left off. We'll talk about the fourth way, and that's in verse three. It says this, Know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who made us, and we are His. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Now notice that the imperative for us in this verse, it says, know, know that the Lord, He is God. Now, you gotta understand that the Hebrew word for this word know, it not only denotes information about God, but also denotes a relationship with God. So think back to yesterday. Yesterday we learned that singing to God is one way that we can use our mouths to give thanks, but now the psalmist is telling us it's not just our mouths, it's also our mind and our heart. We can thank God really through our whole being, our mind through knowing God and our heart through having a relationship with him. But then notice how it ends. This is really interesting. So, you know, know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us, AKA we belong to him, uh, and we are his, AKA we belong to him. Uh, we are his people a.k.a. we belong to him, and the sheep of his pasture, a.k.a. You get the point. It just reiterated the same point over and over and over, saying it four different ways. Why? It's driving home a point. God is glorified in our lives when we know that he is God, when we have a relationship with him, and when we act as his people. Now listen, this is a huge deal for God. Throughout the biblical narrative, we, we see that God, his redemptive plan for mankind is playing out and over and over he says, I will be their God and they will be my people. So the challenge for us is this. I mean, that is his desire, but do we reflect the same desire? Do we take it as seriously as he does? When it, when it comes to our mind, you know, like, does he reign supreme or does, is there some other philosophy or ideal that's competing? When it comes to our heart, have we just easily given away our heart or does he have our whole heart? And do we live as if we are really people in his kingdom, his people, his kingdom, or do we live like we're just visitors? Here's what I've learned. God, he is a jealous God and he's not interested in competing with anything else in our lives. He doesn't just want a sliver of us, he wants all of us. And so one of the best ways that we can show gratitude is by living in such a way that demonstrates that he is first. So I wanna hear from you. I'm sure we can all learn from each other on this one. What are some practical things that you do to demonstrate that God is first above everything else? Comment down below. I can't wait to read your comments. I love you guys. Let's pick up this conversation tomorrow.